But first, a simple, tasty twist on the classic meatball. You and me will be right back. It is 747, 13 minutes to 827 degrees out there. Now, whether we're hosting or attending holiday parties, we're all looking for some tasty appetizers to enjoy. So here to show us an easy-to-make recipe with a Greek twist is Ed Nemec, who is the chef and co-owner of the Dancing Marlin Restaurant in Frankfurt. Thanks for coming all this Thank way. You for having us. Good to meet you. Um, this smells really awesome. But before we get into the recipe, tell me about uh, the Dancing Marlin. What can people expect when they come? Uh, Dancing Marlin is a really fun restaurant. I mean, it's all about small plates, sharing. Um, it's a it's a real fun. It's a family place. It's good for couples. It's good for everyone. Uh, but our specialty is these uh, these plates that are shareable. That we make everything, as you can see, where everybody at the table can take a little. That's the smartest thing yeah. ever, yeah. Chef. Let me tell you why. Because there are times when you go to a restaurant and you want to try like 10 things, but you can only order one for each person because then you'll be wasting. Right. So brilliant. Let's get into this. What uh, kind of uh, appetizer is this? And this is on the menu at This Dancing is on Marlin? the menu. Um, we wanted to do a twist on meatballs. Mm -hmm. And everybody's had meatballs, Swedish meatballs, Italian meatballs. Uh, so we decided to do a Greek meatball. Oh, awesome. And the chefs all got together and said, hey, let's do something like that. Uh, so this is our version of like a, a, a gyro. Uh -huh. in a meatball. Oh, cool. You know, well, so, show me. Yeah, so we've got some ground beef. Mm -hmm. We've got ground lamb, ah. which you can find in most uh, any grocery store. Got it. We've got some garlic in there, mm -hmm. oregano, salt and pepper. Uh, we've got some diced onions. Yum. That was what I was smelling earlier. I was, when you were cooking them earlier. Panko breadcrumbs. We've got some eggs. Mm -hmm. And then this is just all going to come together. It'll take right. a couple seconds, but right. you get the idea. We're going to mix mm -hmm. all this. Make sure it's all done. Any kind of particular breadcrumbs we should use, like panko? These are panko. Or, okay. And you can get those in any Asian mm -hmm. aisle in your grocery store. Really right. easy to get to. Got it. So you'll mix all this up, mm -hmm. give it a good mix. And then we end up with? Yeah, so we end up with these little meatballs. They're about an ounce and a half. Mm -hmm. um, you can take these, bake them at about 375. Bake them, okay. For, uh, you know, for about... 15, 18 minutes. And the beauty of this dish around the holidays for entertaining mm -hmm. is that you can bake these off. I mean, you could serve them that same day. Uh, you can put them in the fridge, uh, keep them for a couple days, uh, warm them up. You can put them in a crock pot if you needed. Oh. You know, like the old Swedish meatball yeah. mom thing. Yep. You can do that. Um, so it's really easy to uh, to entertain for parties. Yep. Comes out like this. And when you have a whole bunch of uh, people coming over, you need to have stuff kind of yeah, at the ready to keep going. Yeah, you don't want to be doing this yeah. when your guests are coming over. Got it. So All right, now what's this easy. sauce that's on the bottom? It's a tzatziki sauce, oh, a yum. traditional Greek sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, ours is really simple. It's homemade. It's uh, Greek yogurt. We put some tomatoes, dill, cucumbers in there, a little mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Uh, if you wanted to buy that at your local grocery store, you could do it, but it's so it's easy good. to make. It's so easy to make. I'm sorry to eat off of your yeah. shit serving spoon. I know that that's not according to the rules. No, that's okay here. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, so that's easy. Just put that on the sauce on the plate, your Serve meatballs, put some skewers in there. And call it a day. Call it a day. This is a really easy uh, holiday party dish. Cool. Now, sh tell me about some of the other stuff, because you brought a lot of offerings from the restaurant, so I want to see what all this is about. Yeah, I mean, we go mm -hmm. the gamut. You know, we've got our, our smoked whitefish dip with some pita chips, mm -hmm. bone marrow, really Ooh. popular, but um, bone marrow some toast, and we do a um, Cabernet jam, um, short rib jam. Cool. This is the fig and the pig. Our the, own fig house, and the, <laughs> the fig and the pig. There's figs in there, our uh, sausage inside there, and it's wrapped in our house-made bacon. Yum. Uh, the salmon chip, we've got a little dill creme fraiche on the bottom, house-smoked salmon, and there's some salmon caviar on top of there. Wonderful. And of got course, our meatballs. meatballs. This is a really uh, special dish for us. This, this has been on the menu almost since day one. It looks uh, good. It's, uh, it's stuffed crab peppers, poquillo peppers, mm -hmm. with a remoulade sauce on the bottom Yum. of that. Those are just excellent to have at the restaurant. Um, we've got our shareable 16-ounce New York strip uh, center cut steak prime uh, that we slice like that, Tuscan style, with a little olive oil, Yum. some sea salt. You can take that to the table and everybody can share that so you don't have to buy one big steak. I have a Everybody question. Everybody can have it, yep. I have a question. I see dessert coming in. Do I have to share that with other people no. or can I have no, it no, by no. myself? No, 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 you can get that whole thing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's coffee and donuts, those oh. are our own. Donuts we make in house. There's a caramel on there and a uh, a coffee mousse that you can dip that in there, and it's a uh, it's a great shareable right. dessert. I'm sold. I'm taking the trip out to Frankfurt. <laughs> and once you're there, plus Thank we have a bunch of wines on tap, but we're probably one of the only restaurants in the suburbs to have 18 wines on tap. Oh, that's wonderful. So you could try different glasses yep. and sampling Absolutely. sizes. This sounds wonderful. Thanks for sharing the recipe. We will uh, use it at our different parties, won't we? 
Yes, we will. <laughs> Dancing Marlin Restaurant is located at 20590 South LaGrange Road in Frankfurt. Log on to dancingmarlinrestaurant.com for more information. All right, coming up after the break, more food. See the five fattiest restaurant meals in America when you and me returns. None of which is on this table. <laughs>